Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, you're going to learn how to set up the iThemes security plugin. The iThemes security plugin is really one of the best and most popular WordPress security plugins, and iThemes brings you um, Backup Buddy as well, which is really uh, a popular one as well. So iThemes, let's have a look at iThemes today. I think this is quite a, a very easy plugin to get used to. If you're not a cybersecurity expert or you don't have any interest in cybersecurity at all, iThemes might actually be the one that I recommend. So um, we're going to go to plugins and add new. I search for security. You can see all the top um, security plugins here. So WordFence, Security, All-in-One and iThemes. So I mean, WordFence is obviously the most popular with 3 million, but this is actually the second most. So 900,000 there, iThemes security. Um, let's go ahead and install that. Some people might have known it formerly as better WP security. So um, either way, we're going to go ahead and install that. Wait for that to install. Okay, when that's all done, we click activate. And wait for that to activate. And from there, we'll get our little activation message and we should get a little security option here in our WordPress dashboard menu. So let's click on the settings there. And the first time you run this, you're going to get a security check. And this is iThemes way of automatically enabling and configuring most of the default WordPress security settings that you'll need to get your site secure. So what this does, it enables some modules that lock out banned users. It lets you back up your WordPress database. It protects you from brute force attacks, network brute force protection, um, enables strong passwords. And there's a few WordPress tweaks that will um, improve security. And also you want to click this box. It does provide some of your website's IP address details to make sure that attackers are logged up locked out correctly and then we go ahead and click secure site so this is really super easy all the config is done automatically so if you're a beginner i really love using this uh, particular security plugin so most of the things will come up uh green and you'll need it to if any of these things come up yellow we need to follow the instructions here so this is just enabling a redirect http to https now because i was using cloudflare i already had a redirect done through the cloud but um, we can do that through the uh, uh, wordpress as well so i'm going to do that here and i'm also going to enable brute force protection here and that will stop people trying to force their way in now all our um, security check is passed now. So all these are green ticks and we've got all these features. So super, super easy to set that up. Just like three clicks and that was all done. So now we're going to hit close. And from here, it'll take us to our dashboard. Now there are a few extra things that we can enable. 404 detection is basically where robots just go to your domain name and start generating random addresses and trying to find a page to exploit. So I'm gonna click that and uh, enable it. The other thing is file change detection. You can enable the um, website. It'll monitor and it'll notify you if you get a detected change that you didn't expect. Um, Again, you don't have to enable that one. It might generate too many notifications if you're running like lots of scheduled updates or you have lots of people contributing content and you don't need all these notifications. But if your site is fairly static and you don't expect any changes, well, maybe that is a good one to enable. Away mode means uh, the dashboard to WordPress will be disabled on a schedule. I think that's a bit annoying. I wouldn't actually enable that one. Um, system tweaks. We can go ahead and... Uh, check that one make sure you back your website up before these little tweaks thing in case you come up against any um any bugs or something that messes up your website i'm using updraft plus and i've made a backup before i did any of this i recommend you do that too before you start tweaking anything um but i'm going to enable that and so um, the rest of these are only available in the pro version. But again, like we saw, this was set up in only a few clicks and it doesn't require any special skills to get this working. Now the pro version, the cool features that you get is two-factor authentication and malware scanning. Now, uh, WordFence does give you those for free. So um, a big advantage to using WordFence is you get those for free. I mean, the setup is not as easy as this. This was so easy. So um, 
if you're a beginner and you want something easy to set up, maybe go for the pro version of this actually. Um, Google Recapture, uh, like we saw, we got that for free in the all-in-one uh, version, but um, iThemes doesn't give you that for free. I, th- I saw the all-in-one security gave us Recapture for free, and I think there's other ways of getting Recapture integration. Honestly, you don't really need to pay for that. Google does give that for free. Um, obviously, ticketed support. I mean, if you're not into security and you need support, when you have a security issue, this is really valuable. So um, the pro version, definitely have a look at that. This is quite a good one and it's cheaper than most other options. The other thing you've got down here is your malware scanner. So you can actually scan the page for malware. Um, you have to do it manually and it's done by Securi. So you can actually use the Securi plugin and it will do this as well automatically. So um, no disadvantage to having the Securi malware scanner installed at the same time, but you have this little button and you just have to wait, it'll scan. I've come up clean, so that's all good. Um, you can come back in here and scan anytime you like to check. But honestly, this is all there is. Uh, super, super easy. You can go and run a security check whenever you want. Go ahead and click security check and do a little quick checkup um, and go ahead and secure the site. It'll run the same thing that we ran uh, in the first place and it will just double check that everything's still working properly. Like we did before, we get all green, all green lights, so we're all good. And honestly, that's all there is. Um, if you want these um, improved features, either check out some of those other plugins or look at the pro version here. Um, I was a big fan of how easy this was. Only $80 a year just for, the, um, for one website. If you're running unlimited websites, $200 a year. If you're a developer or an agency, that's pretty good. So uh, quite a good option for security. Uh, the other thing I was going to compare it with was, say, um, Securi, which actually has a, a website application firewall, which is something that iThemes didn't have, but it costs a bit more. It costs um, $120 a year. So if you don't need the firewall, say you're already using like uh, the Cloudflare firewall, um, you might not need this. This might be all you need, that $80 blogger option for your security. So something to think about anyway. But honestly, this was the easiest. Out of all the, the four that I tested, this was the easiest to set up. Um, the hardest was probably security, trying to implement all those little um, tweaks to the files where you actually had to go in and um, edit uh, WordPress config files. So I thought that was a little bit harder on security, but I learned a lot about um, security from using this, but um, this was super, super easy. So I, I definitely recommend this one if you're a beginner. And then WordFence... Um, WordFence was the other one that I liked as well. If you can get WordFence working straight away without any issues and get that firewall, that free one, and it doesn't cause any problems with the performance, then you can, you'll obviously see why WordFence has the most um, installs. So those are the main three I'd look at, to be honest. But iThemes for a free one, it's awesome, I think. Uh, definitely give that a look. So thumbs up if this has been useful and subscribe. I'm going to come back. I'm going to actually do a full summary of all the security um, plugins I've looked at lately and just make some recommendations because there's lots of different um, pros and cons of all these plugins. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, Hit subscribe because I'm going to be back, obviously. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.